Hi everyone, so today I want to try out some of the new things I just hauled uh, from HSN Craft Day, mostly Anna Griffin items. Uh, I was kind of just putting things away and I thought, we should use these right now. So <laughs> this is what I'll be doing today. Uh, it may be the last card I have for Christmas in July, we will see. But if any of these items are available, I'll link them in the description box. Those will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. And I do have people asking, you know, oh, when Anna sends you this, or Anna Griffin, like, Anna does not send me anything. These are things I purchase from HSN, sometimes for site or whatever, but yeah, I don't have any kind of uh, review relationship with uh, their company. So um, just because, because people do ask about that every once in a while, um, or they just assume, you know. Um, let's see here. So I want to try out the new cartouche um, cut and emboss folders. Like I showed you guys, these are larger than the original cartouche ones. So uh, where this one, I want to say is like four. Yeah, it's four by six. This one is legitimately five by seven, the folder itself. So the items it cuts are also larger, but they're very much Christmas related, but then some of them are um, two or more Christmas and two or more just like lacy and pretty and things like that. So I figured if we have that, we do have things like this, and I can see this Happy Holidays like peeking out from the Christmas Kitsch collection. So like, you know, maybe we can cut like a little something cartouche type to go behind this little sticker or whatever. Uh, and I'll probably be using the Christmas Kitsch collection with also the um, Christmas or holiday... What do they call this? Christmas Wishes 3D Concentric Dies. And the link on this one does also include the link or like the option of picking up the birthday one. Not birthday. Wait, what is it called birthday? What was this one called? Yeah, Birthday Wishes. See? Thought so. I used to, after I said it, I thought that sounds weird. Um, gorgeous. Again, it's like a 4 by 6 ish frame or out, you know, matte layers that it cuts. So it'll be great for a five by seven, possibly a card that's four by six on its own. Um, when you see things like this, like they layered it up. I don't know if you can see, like there's like some thickness to it and they made it a frame and it looks really sizable, really nice. On this one, it's just the one layer. Um, and then they layer it up from there as far as what they put on top of it. But this one's very much a frame. They cut that center oval out. That's really cute though, because you really highlight whatever it is that's there. Um, I don't know that we're going to be doing that today. <laughs> and then the card bases they're using, obviously, are very much Anna Griffin card bases that you might get from, like, the birthday kits or, like, the, well, for this one, the Christmas kit. I did not pick up her boxes this year. They seemed a little bit pared down from the years before, the birthday box and the Christmas box, and I don't think they come with gold paper, and people are already kind of leaving comments about that because I know when you open it, you're like, oh, I have gold pieces of paper. Okay. Well, they're meant to be, like, die cut, right? It's not meant to be just, like, a gold piece of paper you're just going to throw in there. Um, but you know, maybe some people don't have dies, and so it was just something to pop out of there and make it more of a quick card kit. I don't know, uh, but they don't have it. Anyway, so we have some other ideas here. And yeah, so I just haven't finished up my other boxes, so I was like, you know what, this year I'm not going to grab it, which hurt me, but you know, oh well. And then I was just looking for card bases that were nice and sturdy. I don't really want to make a card base from this paper. It's thick, but it's not that thick. I like card bases to be like 300, 350 GSM. So that is just the Tonic Studios Ivory White card base. I think that'll be good. Um, and then, you know, I'm just going to start picking some papers to play with. Um, so we already have some that are already cut down to 5 by 7 So, of course, if I don't want to cut into my 12-inch paper, we have these guys. It's going to cover the whole card. Actually, yeah, no, these are 5 by 7 What's up? <laughs> it looked weird. No, that's perfect. Um, I like having a little edge on mine, so I'll still trim this down. You know, this one obviously has a lot going on, so like maybe that's not the best paper, but I'm going to go through and... Uh, the thing is, we're going to cover a lot of this up with that die, right? So, for me, you almost kind of want to use a paper that's like, eh, you know. <laughs> Uh, these are all so cute. Oh, something like this, right? Where it's just like a design. Yeah, maybe we'll go with that one. Okay. So what I'm going to do to start off with that guy is go ahead and trim this down to uh, 4 and 7 eighths by 6 and 7 eighths. So I'm just going to take a little bit off, um, an eighth basically off of wherever. What I do love about these is that they have them framed out the way they cut that it's really even and you can see the way the top ends the bottom it's the same so I'm gonna take maybe a little bit off of here and a little bit off of there just to keep that symmetry um, symmetry symmetry how do you say it I don't know um, I know it's SY I think it's symmetry but anyway um, I will be right back okay just trying to keep that symmetrical just because these are really small details I think anyone's gonna notice but you know 
So I just took a sixteenth of an inch off of every side, and that way it's still pretty symmetrical. Yeah. You know. All right, and then that's gonna be my base paper, so I'm just gonna glue that down. I say they're both cute. They're cute on both sides. I don't know what I want to do with my frame. Like if I want to make it delicate, like a frame, or not. Or if I put a piece behind it. I hardly ever do the matte layer behind because I feel like that really covers up whatever you have going on back here. You know what I'm saying? So when I have this here, when I use this matte layer, it's literally covering everything. Right? I mean, if I cut that out, you're going to see the smallest amount of red on the edges. I could have just cut that with this, but then you're only going to see a little bit of it anyway from behind this. So let me see. So I have this guy. Of course, I'm cutting that from some festive paper. Now, I do have some fun colors now that I think about it. Hold on. Let me grab some of these papers I recently ordered. I'll be right back. So funny enough, the papers I do have in that are Christmassy, it's the handsome slimline paper, but these are slimline, so it's not going to work for this. I don't think my Christmas paper, or maybe it did, right, guys? Remember I said there was like a blue and a silver? Anyway, it doesn't matter. I have another one on the way, and it's not here yet. But I do have this from, I think, the pastels. And honestly, this green is really cool. Maybe something different, right? Instead of just going with gold um, right away. So let's do this green one. I'm going to run this through, and I'm just, honestly, I'm going to use... Oh, I have some things I want to talk about. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm telling you guys right now in my brain all I have is RV because I want to sanitize my water tank <laughs> so that I can just start using the thing and we have a upcoming little you know couple days um, uh, beach trip uh, just here in San Diego but uh, there's just a few things I want to get taken care of before and then just I you know got some different things to accent the RV with and went through my old RV stuff because we had an RV before and some of the stuff is very old I mean even it doesn't matter. I just don't want the style of what I had before on this RV because it's a different colorway. So uh, that's all I have in my brain right now. Uh, let me see. What I want to say is these guys. This machine. I love this machine. This is the one from Walmart for my Anna Griffin dies because it just runs through and it does it. It's pretty much like if you were cutting into Anna Griffin's magnetic mat, I guess. Um, that effect, so you get the embossing and the cutting all in one. This is my magnetic mat from Anna Griffin that is really bad. Actually, it's all warped. Look, at, I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> it's warped on sides. But anyway, um, this machine is the one I did the Hello Hobby from Walmart, and I think it's 80 bucks. Somebody told me they found it on clearance for $20. Okay, that's amazing. That's so awesome. But that was like a year or so ago, and I thought it was kind of new because I'd never seen it in uh, my Walmart. This is exactly, and I told you guys, I said, I feel like a lot of these things are being made by We Are Memory Keepers, which I guess now they have We Are Makers is the name of the company. I don't know. They're owned by American Crafts, and it's the same machine, the Revolution or whatever they're calling it now, or Evolution? Revolution? They have a new one. It was pink. They had it on HSN. I think it might have sold out because I know when I saw it last, they had a few left in stock. I was like, I need to get the plates from that for this machine because it's the same machine. You cannot find refill plates for <laughs> this machine. Um, the only place I can find plates for it with the Evolution is on Etsy. So somebody has them in some kind of store. Maybe they own a scrapbook store. I don't know. But I'm like, that is crazy. Why is it so hard to find the plates? And I'll show you what the plates look like. And actually, I don't even have all of them here because it does come with a a shim for like if you're doing um what's it called why is my hair <laughs> um ah, what's it called a um if you're using an embossing folder you're just gonna use a plastic shim so anyway let me put this machine to the side for just a second so basically what you want to find more of obviously you don't need this i mean it is getting kind of like something's happening here right you can see that little those marks. This I need more of this magnetic mat. That's all I care about. This is what you cut into this is what I want, you know, but for whatever reason, they are very hard to come by or they're not selling them. I don't know what to tell you, but hopefully you're having better luck with it. I just want to mention though, if you have that machine, um, look for the plates from the evolution or revolution, whatever they're calling it now. Um, I think I have some from lifestyle crafts cause it's basically a lifestyle crafts machine that they copied or made before. I have no idea. Maybe they purchased them. You know, these companies are always doing stuff and, um, I do have a plate from that. So I'm going to try that next because it looks exactly the same. It has like this little waffle background and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, I do have that. I actually broke the machine. I don't even know how that happened. Um, so, <laughs> 
uh, I'm super willing to just toss that machine out and then keep the plates, which it's in the garage. But anyway, I just want to mention those things because it is odd. And I had mentioned that this seems very, we are memory keepers. Ooh, I cut that right close. I'm going to have to make sure that it does not move. It does have a magnetic mat, so, and it really holds. I mean, this is a great magnetic mat, you guys. I'm going to run that through, and I'll be right back. Of course, you can run it through with this, too, if you want it to look more framey and more delicate, you know? Um, but I think I'm going to do, like, a matte layer, maybe. I'll be right back show you what that looks like. I'm telling you, it does a really good job with these. Look at the embossing, and everything is just there. It looks awesome. It is really going to be dug in here because that's the only thing I've noticed whenever I use it in here. I'm like, ooh, it really pushes it in. But let's get this guy up off of here. And then I scrape this with my Cricut scraper because it is pushed in there really, really, really a lot. <laughs> but look at that. It just does a great job. So, so far we have this. And this is really pretty. Look how delicate. Again, I mean, you can put dimensionals back here. You can put them strategically in the corners too if you still want that to be popped up just a little bit. You know, these guys are kind of on their own. <laughs> so anyway, so let's pretend that goes there. We're going to start looking at um, maybe some ephemera. I don't know if I'm going to do another matte layer. I was thinking about it, but depending on what I do with this, because what, what I choose here is big enough that you don't need more matte layers. So I'm just going to pull all this stuff out and see what it is that I want to put on here. Oh, you know, I mean, you can decorate those up. You can even... Uh, use a die on that. Uh, I do like the look of the little tree. But again, it's very green behind there, so maybe we do put something else there. I wasn't thinking about it, but I do like the look of that little tree. Um, everything in here is dimensional. Let's see that thing. Everything in here has two layers to it. Now you can definitely take things apart like if you wanted to. It's just stuck together with a foam adhesive and work with that. Oh, how cute. See, I, I don't know how to incorporate that and make it look good, <laughs> but I do like the look of that. So we are going to use another layer of dye. Now again, I can just put a whole thing, but I want to go with this one and maybe go with gold because you know we got to do that. <laughs> now let me see if I had this behind here. You're barely going to see a little bit of it. Let's do that but let's make it more delicate. Why not? So I'm going to grab some gold paper and I'm going to run these guys together because this does not cut the center. So I'm going to put this on my gold paper Tape down, obviously don't want that center die to move. And actually, do I have a gold paper in here? I probably do. Ooh, did I use it all up? Oh, I almost used it all up. I have one little piece. I probably have a scrap that's big enough for this, to be honest. I don't need to cut into this, but oh well. Okay, so I'll do that. Tape that so it doesn't move. Run it through, okay? I'll be right back. I'm being a little bit lazy. I didn't clean the green off, but look how pretty that is. And I just switched out to shiny gold paper, guys. I wanted to really stand out behind that little tree, so I, um change that up. And then you also have this little gold piece that you have a perfect oval for something else. Okay, I'll bear back. So bring this guy back. Oh, it's so pretty. I mean, look at that. And it's very simple, so I feel like obviously we're going to have to add some other stuff, but are we going to have to add some other stuff? And now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, I would love to do this and maybe not the cartouche, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll see. We'll still use the cartouche today if we don't. But like, Honestly, for me, that is perfect. Like that, I love that. <gasps> Look at this one. And that's it. I mean, honestly, that's enough for me, personally. Uh, I am going to leave that. I think that looks really cute. I'm going with the red because the green has the green and the green, so I'm like, eh, let's go with the red one. Um, I mean, Christmas memories, how cute. I love the stuff that's in here. Happiness to you at Christmas. I mean, I just feel like the shape, this needs to go like this. And you know what? That is plenty. Now, let me see if we should add a little something more. I will use a cartouche in just a minute. Guys, you know, we have like these little swirls and things. And I know if it was, you know, very Anna, you're going to do that, right? You're going to want to add some of these things. I just, I don't know how to incorporate these well enough. I'm going to put something up there like that. It's kind of on its own. I don't know not my favorite. Uh, I'm going to leave that alone. Maybe I'll add some kind of like pearls or something. I don't know. Honestly, I really like the way it looks just like this. So, let's get these things glued down. 
and then uh, we'll talk about you know dimensionals and all that kind of stuff but for right now I'm gonna go ahead and put a good amount of glue in here hopefully not that it doesn't show up because again with sensitive papers you don't want to put too too much glue so what I do is I'll do this we'll get all the important little areas here and then I'll tap some of it off because I don't want too much glue and it just depends on how wet your glue is if it activates something within the paper um, these gold papers are basically paper paper and then kind of has some little bit of a treatment on top right this plasticky stuff and then sometimes you'll see like already you can kind of see where I put the glue I don't know if you can see those lines so I try to get rid of some of that I did see that I had an extra little piece I needed to pop out and I think that's the only one okay so I'm just gonna hold that down and you know me I'm not gonna stand here holding this I am going to put something heavy on top of it <laughs> make sure it doesn't shift and I'll be right back uh, let's go ahead and go with this guy now again if you want to pop this up too you know me I like my cards a little flatter a little more mailable um, but we're definitely gonna put some glue down in here and all around that edge and then I'm gonna put that heavy plate back on top of this get rid of that excess glue and just pop that beautiful thing right there and again make sure it's not shifting well let's see it shifted we do not want that I'm gonna hold down a little bit longer before I put my plate on top so sometimes what happens is obviously your glue is wet and if you put your plate on top it kind of moves and you do not want that you want to put it where you want to put it right so there's that and I'm gonna put this right on top and hopefully that didn't shift at all and this time I'm gonna put something heavier oh but I moved something okay my plate moved and I was like just want to make sure I didn't move the paper and put this on top and in the meantime I was reading about these guys so like I said some people will put these through their marquee like the smaller one I wouldn't do that because I I don't want to put something that isn't supposed to go in there you can put obviously embossing folders in the marquee even other brands as long as they're not like 3d ones so people still do that too um, it's just it's very tight and I'm not gonna do that to my machine so these guys aren't that thick for a cut and emboss folder so um, in the instructions she's saying just to use your A plates your two cutting plates basically and your you know um, that's it place A plate on your work surface stack the folder with paper inside stack second A plate and then run it through and that's obviously through the M press right and, you know, the M press has thin plates that's it's a, it's a thin metal die cut <laughs> machine so um it doesn't have like the thickness that some of these other machines do for like steel rolled eyes or whatever else so i'm still going to try to use that machine from walmart even though i have this guy sitting in front of me here and i'm going to do what they are recommending for like embossing folders maybe a little bit thinner than that and then uh, we'll see how that goes okay but i'll we'll do that together i'll be right back again that would be also the mint the evolution revolution machine <laughs> whatever we are makers is calling it now um when did they change their name i only recently noticed that so i guess that makes sense because they're doing all kinds of stuff not just memory keeping stuff i'll be right back let's see where we're at when did some dishes <laughs> looking good okay and then this guy has its own sticker and I'm not gonna pop that up anymore so that's fine um, again the cartouche I'm just trying out for you guys because I said I would try it today <laughs> but other than that oh my gosh is this thing a sticker or not it should be completely destroyed that um, so we'll just try it out and then we'll have some ready for another time oh my gosh this <laughs> this carrier is quite sticky guys look at this my goodness okay i'm over here crunching things and i put it should just put some glue on the back and have called it a day you know oh my gosh what is happening <laughs> i don't think i've ever had one that peeled like this i wonder if it's because of the warmth of the summer maybe the stickiness is especially sticky so what i'm trying to do with this little guy is just put him right in the center like that's obviously our focal point he is kind of wonky because that Christmas kit so he has kind of a fun look to him but I think that I, I think I did okay see how this that's gonna drive me nuts let's bend it back the other way and then we have this and this one I will pop up with some dimensionals maybe a little glue just because um, 
we already have the dimensional nature of this sticker. So we gotta clear that. I think one dimension is gonna do it. And just for extra security, let's put a little glue there. Take this off. Oh, I think that's really cute. I guess that kitschiness, that old school look to it, but it's really still elegant, <laughs> lovely. Oh my gosh. And look at that. A simple card. I mean, this is the kind of thing I go for. I love that so very much. Um, again, maybe I'll accent it with some little rhinestones, probably something more shiny than just pearls. But how cute. Okay. Happy with that. Very happy with that. I'll have images for you guys in just a minute. Um, and then let's try this guy out. Now, I try to be a little frugal and only put things where I want them to be, you know? <laughs> but, uh, maybe I'll just run a whole piece of paper through. Because these other areas are not going to be necessary. Like, they're just not, right? They're not going to cut anything. So, let's try to minimize as much. Like, there. I can cut to, like, about here. I'm just going to cut it straight across, but you can definitely take that bit. What I used to do in the past is just make areas where it's just going to be right instead of wasting this, but it should be okay. Um, it should just stay flat like that. Now let's see. Supposedly for this machine, which would be the same for that We Are Memory Keepers type machine, um, they want you to use the platform, your embossing folder with paper in it, this embossing mat, which is just like a piece of plastic, it's like a shim, and the top plate, okay? So not the magnetic mat. I don't know if that's too much. It feels like it's going to be very thick. Ooh, Lord. Okay, well, it's going. It might be doing the job very well. <laughs> did I try these last time when I reviewed this machine? Because I feel like I didn't. Or if I did, I don't know. Wow. Okay, so I've had other times where I've tried these out in different machines, um, like my Platinum 6, and I had to like shim and do all these other things because it wasn't quite right, you know, like the embossing wasn't quite there, and you guys, again, this is <laughs> the Hello Hobby machine, same as that We Are Memory Keepers one, so let me take that guy out and take this guy out, just so you guys can have an idea of what these look like. How cute are those? So Anna, I have a ton and she sells them all the time. These little stickers that are just like that small, like little round ones. So you can pop it in there. I have some oval ones and I have these square ones, right? So they will perfectly fit in these guys. Um, I don't have, let me clean up a little bit. I'll be right back. I was going to say when I said I don't have was like a size comparison, but that's not really true. I can size the other ones for you, but okay, let's pretend, you know, you had that behind there. So the little Christmas cheese are just barely peeking out. So this one obviously is a lot bigger than some of the other things you might have. Um, and let me see. Like this one also, it's cute. I mean, you can see them just a little something on your card, you know, wherever it is. And that's basically what they're for. I don't really have other shapes to layer on this right now without going to grab my other stuff. So anyway, you can take my word for it. They're very cute. Um, I will say, like, the squares are two and a quarter inches, I would say. This oval one is, ooh, I would say two and three quarters by about two and an eighth. And then the circle one from this, you know, set here is like two and an eighth circle. And these are the other ones, the smaller ones. So I just want to give you, like, a comparison. So uh, from the square one, I'm looking at cutting metal. It is one and seven eighths. So it's a little bit smaller than two inches, where that one was larger. Um, the circular one is about one and five eighths. Okay, so just over an inch and a half. And the oval one is just under two inches, like at one and 15 sixteenths or something, by one and a half in the other direction. So you can probably even layer these guys together, you know. You have the smaller one with your sentiment and then the other one peeking out from behind. It would show quite a bit of that edge. It cuts in here, guys, so this whole area would be showing, right? Um, so just get, to give you a comparison of the sizing on these guys. Again, this has a huge metal lip, so don't pay attention to that because that doesn't, that wouldn't be there, right? So, just giving you a size difference on those guys. 
All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, again, I will link whatever uh, might be available there in the description box. I will have images for you all coming up. Try and stay cool. Have fun with what's left of summer. Oh, my goodness, you guys. These kids start school in two weeks. <laughs> I feel like I just flew by. So, obviously, that means I'll have much more time to make my videos, and it won't be... Well, I think I've been doing pretty good job of putting out all those videos, but some days there were like none, and some days there were like four or five, right? <laughs> so, anyway, um, just keep an eye out. They will uh, be more, uh, definitely more, um, what's the word? More of a consistent schedule like I used to do. And also uh, coming up really soon, the 1st of August, so the Spellbinders Clubs will be coming up. And I think today is the last day of the tonic sale. So um, again, you get a tiered discount automatically in the cart. If you're a club member, use your TCK discount, you still get 10% off of the, those tiered discounts. They have the free gifts. Um, I place my orders and hopefully they'll be in soon. Um, and I mentioned that just because it does end today and they usually don't do percentages off on their site like that. And what else? Um, I'm sure there's something else I'm forgetting, but thanks for watching guys. I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.